Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Another sign of tectonic plate movement. We're going to discuss about the North American plate. There was a magnitude 4.6 earthquake in the harbor near Alphantis, Iceland. There was no tsunami warning. And you can see here, down here we got the fault line. North American plate to the west and the Eurasian plate is off to the east which is slowly pulling apart the continent of Iceland. Here's a recent map of all the earthquakes supposedly by USGS. We got this earthquake here which is a 4.9 that occurred on the 8th of this month and then we'll come down here. We got a magnitude 2.7. Now that occurred also on the 8th and we got on the 11th of this month, a 3.1. That one I reported yesterday. Um, a 2.7. That was on the 9th. Another example off on the west of the North American plate, off on the east, is the Eurasian plate. We'll probably see some more earthquakes um, as the North American plate continues its move westward. Near Harrington, Kansas, there was a magnitude 3.5 today. 5 kilometers in depth, 36 people reported feeling that earthquake. Here you can see the felt reports. Now that one that happened there at Glen Falls, New York. I reported that one like I said yesterday. It actually occurred I believe late Tuesday night, even though it shows the 11th which was yesterday, but um, that's by universal time. 2,573 people reported feeling that earthquake. And I reported that I felt that it was probably a much larger earthquake. It was felt all the way down to New York City. Look at that. Philadelphia. Um, this is Dover down here. Wilmington and Atlantic City, Maryland. As the Earth's magnetic field weakens, um, yeah, I believe we're going to see more earthquakes, more volcanic eruptions, because that's what happened when there was a flip, a reversal, whichever you want to call it, of the Earth's magnetic field. We also got a felt report all the way up here by Maine. Some of the felt reports that came in from Iceland on EMSC said they felt two short shakings. And then there was another one that says, uh, said to be approximately a 4.6. Yeah, they felt the earthquake too. But there's only, what, four people that put in what they felt. And I'm definitely not going to try and pronounce some of the names of these locations. So those of you along the uh, east coast of the United States and Canada, more so the east coast of the United States, um, hopefully you got a plan for if there's ever a large earthquake and you can see you know the direction of the tectonic movements just another sign of the times and don't forget about that failed rip zone that we got sweeping up along the Great Lakes up through Michigan and then down in this location you can actually visualize the direction this failed rip zone when the continents were first moving around um, was caused because originally the United States was going to be divided in half but it stopped so they call it a failed rift zone so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you for subscribing please stay safe thank you for your support and I'll talk to you later God bless you bye